So what happens when you see a big, tempting light up button? And then what happens when you see that it clearly says, do not touch? We're about to find out. Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we are taking on one of those projects that everyone needs to know. It's an essential Arduino project and uh, we're gonna have a little fun with it. The cool thing about this project is it's part of my open source desk that I'm building and, uh, and all that stuff. But the awesome thing is that this thing has so many applications. So we're gonna be putting together a lot of the different technology that's available to you and show you lots of different ways to use it. So this thing is one of these super cheap windshield washer universal kits that they sell on Amazon and Banggood, and I've got links in the description. Uh, but this thing runs off of 12 volts and it's got this reservoir to store water or whatever. And when you put 12 volts here, it squirts with pretty decent authority out of this thing and you hook a hose up to it. And so I've used these in different ways. When I was in Alaska, I had uh, split it off and I had little things on the front of my vehicle so that when people were in my way, I could push a button and squirt them and they would get out of the way. I had little, uh, little things drawn on my windshield so I knew exactly where it was gonna squirt. And it was just a lot of fun. Um, but in this case, we're gonna use it uh, for my office so that when people walk in, I have the option to squirt them or if they push a button, they'll squirt themselves. And uh, this was originally going to be part of my doorbell project. I thought it'd be kind of fun on Halloween or something like that. Trick-or-treaters come up and, you know, trick-or-treat, how uh, about trick, sucka? Um, you know, but instead we're going to use it uh, just for this office project. But there's a lot you can learn about this. So the first thing I've got is the universal windshield washer thing. This one's used. This was in my truck, but um, it's only had water in it. And then we've got one of these Wemos D1 Minis, which is a uh, super cheap ESP8266 board with Wi-Fi and a super cheap relay shield to go on top of it. And the relay is gonna be turning this thing on and off. And then we're gonna pick out a button here. Um, we'll grab a yellow button. And then in my case, I have uh, this board here that says do not touch. And so the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna put this button in here and there's gonna be two different ways that this thing can be activated. It can either be activated when you push the button or it can be activated when I send something over the web. So in other words, I can target the IP address of this thing and put the word squirt and then it's gonna squirt. Um, and so if you look down here, we've got this teeny tiny hole down here that the water is going to come out of. I'm probably going to have to embiggen that, but the reason why I put it is because I wanted to make sure it was dead center on the board. Um, so anyway, that those two things are lined up. That hole is lined up there. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting things together and I'll explain the process. So these buttons are a little bit different than your standard arcade button because they have a little 12 volt LED in there. And so we have the ability to make this light up. And because we're already using 12 volts for this, we're going to go ahead and wire it up so that this thing lights up. So I'm just going to put this in here. I've drilled a hole for it. Um, each button's a little different, but I think uh, I normally use an inch and a quarter, but that looks a little bit big. Looks like about a one inch hole on this one. Uh, so we've got our button and looks pretty good. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this whole thing in as one unit and it just goes in like this and you'll find the right place and then you can just twist it once it's right. And it locks in place, there you go. So this kit came with all the uh, parts when I bought it, but it's been about five years, so I'm using my own parts. Uh, you wanna put a barb on the end, you could stick the hose straight through there, but I want to make sure that I get the maximum distance. And so the smaller the hole, the further it shoots. So we are going to find the appropriate size drill bit and embiggen this hole a little bit. So again, the only reason why I made this hole on the laser is because I wanted to make sure it was dead center for my project. And then we should be able to stick the barb pretty close through there. I might have to go one size bigger. So um, we stick that in there. I went with 3 16 Yours could be bigger or smaller depending on the size of your barb. 
But uh, as you can see, it's going most of the way through. We're not sticking out a whole lot. I could probably push it in a little bit more. Um, I don't want to connect the hose yet because I want this to be underneath the desk. So I kind of want to hook that up last and make sure I have plenty of slack and all that. Um, but I don't want to mount the reservoir above the desk. I already stand a little bit of a chance of a leak here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the full reservoir under the desk. So here it is. Some of this stuff may not be relevant to you, so I want to um, just break it down for you. So we've got 12 volts coming in here. Uh, you don't have to put a barrel jack connector. This is just going to be in something where I want to be able to unplug it. So I've got 12 volts coming in, and the 12 volts come right to the light bulb. Now, if you don't have a light bulb on your button, then you can skip this step. Uh, but basically, then I'm taking the 12 volts off, and I'm running the hot wire of the 12 volts into the relay. And uh, these relays have three terminals. They have a normally closed over here, and then a common in the middle, and a normally open over here. Now, because we don't want the thing to squirt all the time, and we don't want to have to make the ESP hold the relay shut, um, what we're going to do is we're going to break the 12 volt positive wire um, by putting it on the common and the normally closed. And then that's coming out here. And then as you can see here, I've got this labeled. This is going down to the water squirter. Um, most of the time you're gonna run that straight into the water squirter, but because mine's under my desk, I wanted the option to unplug it. Uh, then over here, I still just have this hole here. So this goes down to the 12 volt. This thing here, uh, you can't see it. This goes down to the uh, 12 volts of the pump. And this is the hose. And so that's it. I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna see how it works. Before we get into actually seeing the thing work, I wanna walk through the code with you. Uh, if you go to my GitHub, GitHub, Mudbin, another maker, and you come down to the mission control folder, you can see that each of the projects is going to have its own folder. Uh, so we have this do not touch button, and uh, it's broken down into laser files and to the Arduino code. If you want to make this with a laser, you don't really have to, but the file is actually here so that you can um, have the exact file that I made mine with. But um, what you're probably going to be most likely interested in is the code. So when you come into the code and you click this, you might think that using a Wemos D1 Mini with Wi-Fi is overkill. But what you don't understand is that we're going to make this thing do all kinds of things as this project moves forward. So right now we're starting off with just a button. If you push the button, it will make the thing squirt. And the second thing is if you visit a web URL, it will make it squirt. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to keep adding features to it. So I have the uh, links to all the products in here and in the description. There's also Canadian links um, in the description. Uh, but anyway, so the code is real simple. You start off with these libraries, and then um, you need to decide how long you want the thing to squirt. And so I'm doing... Uh, 750 milliseconds. I had it like two seconds and that just felt like forever when you're getting squirted with this thing. Uh, so you're going to assign one pin as the relay and another pin as the button. You're going to put in your uh, credentials for your Wi-Fi. Now um, you're going to want to give this thing a specific IP address on your network. So most people have 192.168.1 something or .0 something. So you're going to want to make that third set of numbers uh, the same as your network and you're going to want to pick an IP usually they're really high or really low um, to assign this thing to and put your router's IP address in there um, so what this thing is going to do is there's some random code that was some of it was taken from examples and things like that um, but we're going to come in here to the setup we're going to set the serial at 9600 uh, we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi or begin the Wi-Fi and we are going to set that button as an input pull up which means that one pin of the button is going to go to the button pin and the other one is going to go to ground and then the relay you're going to have uh, one to the relay and the other one to ground um, so then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the relay is in the low uh, position when we start so we're going to do a little bit of serial stuff here and then What's going to happen is this thing is going to be looking for that button to be pressed. If the button is pressed, it's going to squirt the relay for, it's going to squirt the water by triggering the relay for that amount of time and then turn itself off. Uh, now there is one other thing it does, and that is if you look up here, let's find the word squirt. Uh, I think I passed it. So right here. So on squirt, then what it's going to do is, um, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to write the relay and then um, turn it off. So, 
So the way this works is uh, I have it all disconnected, which is why it's sitting here not doing anything. I'm not trying to squirt water all over my office. But if you go to uh, the IP address that you assigned your Wemos and put the word squirt after it, the thing will trigger. So that's it. We're going to hook it up and you're going to see it in action. Here it is in its final location. Um, I did wind up switching to a plastic nozzle, which I am going to stain the same color as the wood. Uh, to make it a little bit less obvious, but it doesn't really matter if they push the button because I have the ability to trigger it from my desk. So uh, if you'll notice over here, we have some strategically placed clothing items to catch some of the water. So I'm not actually spraying it on my wall. And now let's see what happens. As you can see, that is not an insignificant amount of water. This is just the beginning for this project, so I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and stick around to see what we do. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.